In this video, I'm going to teach you the most important text functions in Excel. They are left, right, mid, len, find, and text join. I will also demonstrate these six functions through six real world examples. We will figure out how to calculate gender code extract either first name or last name and convert a name to last name comma first name format extract all male staff names in a comma separated list and finally how to perform a word count watch this whole video to master the text formulas in excel let's go to start off let's set up some text value in c3 here i got a famous quotation by walt disney whatever you do do it well now let's understand how to use these functions. We can use the left function left off and specify any text. So I'm going to point to this text in C3 and then tell Excel how many letters in that text that you want. So if I say first eight letters, I'm going to get the word whatever here because that's the first eight characters in the text. The right function works in a similar way. We say right specify that and let's extract the last four letters which is well so we say four and press enter now we were expecting to get well but we got l this is because even the dots and spaces everything counts so if you really want to extract the word well you need to use five here and then you will get not just well but well dot so at this point you might be thinking hmm what if I just want to get that word? I don't need that extra dot there. This is where the mid function comes in. We can use the mid function like this. Mid, your text, and then specify the start number. So we need to count how many letters are there from the beginning until the start of W. And that would be 24. And then specify how many letters you want. So four letters. And this will give you the word well. Let's use this again to fetch the word u out of this text. So we can say mid and then select the text. u is the 10th letter. u starts from 10 because whatever is eight, then space is nine. So u's beginning position is 10. And from there, I want three letters. And then we will get the word u. The next function is the len function. This measures the length of the text. So if I say len, and then point to my text here, I will get how many letters are there in that text. So we'll see that this particular quotation here has 28 characters. Now len counts everything, not just the printed letters, but all the spaces and the punctuation dots, whatever is in that cell, it will count all of that. You can use a len directly or on a result of another formula. So for example, if I want to count the length of these two words together, I can say len of this and then use the special operator ampersand to combine the text that. So I will get the total length of these two words together. You can think of the ampersand operator as plus for text values. What that will do is it will combine the two text values and it will tell you seven. Now let's just see this in isolation. I can take this, combine that with my u to get value. The next function is find function. What find does is it will find if a specific text is available in another text. So for example, let's find you. Find you within this text and then you will get the starting position of the letters YOU. Now let's try a few different things. Find, let's see if this works with case sensitive. So capital U in this. Here is the kicker, it doesn't find. So find is a case sensitive function and whenever find cannot find an answer it will give you hash value error but if you would like to ignore the case of this particular thing and still find you can use the search function which is exactly same syntax so search u on c3 and that will find the answer as 10 because search does not pay attention to the input case of your search string or the result string for example, let us see what happens if you try to find something that exists multiple times in the text. So we have do here that is printed twice and I can say find do in C3 and this is gonna find the very first do which is starting at the 14th position. 
what if I want to find something that is not the first position but the second one? So this is where the third parameter start num comes into mind. You can use this to tell find to look for something that is after a specific position in the text. So if I say find do from 15th letter, it will find that there is actually another do starting from 18. The final text function that you need to learn is the text join function. If you have a, some text values, you can combine them with the specific delimiter using text join. So I can say text join and then specify the delimiter. So in this case, let's use space as a delimiter. And then we will say ignore empty to be false for now. And then pick these two cells. This will just give you a word value. Now that you understood all the six key text functions in Excel, let's see these applied in business context. So here I prepared six examples for you. We have some sample data with our names and gender information here and we would like to extract the gender code. The gender code would be M for male and F for female. So we will call this as G code and this is going to be because it's going to be just the first letter in the gender column, I can use left of my gender comma one. Notice that here we are using the table references. And in this case, you will simply say at the rate gender to refer to the gender value in the current row. And you will get the gender code all the way across in the table. The second example is we would like to extract just the first name part of our text. And here I can use a left function on this text. Now we don't know where the first name ends. We could say four for the first person, but the second person has a slightly longer first name. So in this case, what we really want is we want to find where the space is and get the text value up until the space. So here we will say find space within the name and then it will find where the space is. So we'll get the left positions from that and we will get the first names like this. Now let's just double check this. Okay, I'm going to measure the length of this. This should be four, but you can see that this length is actually five, that is nine, this is six. This is because what find is giving me is the result of the space, which is the fifth position. So left is getting the first five letters. So when you use this method, be sure to subtract one, and then that will give you the correct first name. The next example is last name. This time we need to get everything after the first space. Use the mid function, take this and then the starting position would be wherever my space is. So find space within the text and that would be in this case five. So we want to start off from six. So we'll say plus one and then how many letters do you want? Well, we want everything after that, but there is no option to say everything. So one common trick that you find when you try to build these kind of formulas is to use a very large number. So I'm just going to use 99 here because our, all our names are fairly short. So 99 will cover all the scenarios and then we will get all the last names here printed nicely. Let's review this formula once again. So we got our name and then we are finding the space and we are saying and then go to the next position and from there get everything to say everything. We simply use 99. The fourth example is going to be a bit tricky wherein we got the name, first name, last name format like this. And I would like to print this as Fawny, comma bar, cross white, comma Denison. We could kind of cheat and use these two functions. So we can say text join, comma, false to this and then that. And we will get the answer like this. But what if you don't have these two things? In that case, you would need to write a longer function. Here is how such a function could look like. We do the last name bit first, which is our mid and find with the 99 trick. And then we use ampersand within double quotes, space, comma and space. And then one more ampersand. And then we do the first name bit, which is again, left name find space. Now let's do something a little more complicated. Here I want to just see all the male staff names in one cell with comma separated values. Well, we can use the text join function. So for example, if I say text join comma space and then false and then just select this column, we'll get everybody's name, not just male employees, but all the names in one giant text like this. What we want is just the male employees. So we can use the if function to do something like this. 
let's see this text join comma space and then ignore empty cells need to be true for this because anything empty we want to ignore you will understand why this in a short while and then we'll say if gender is equal to male then get the name value else just get blank values now when the text join sees this because we are saying ignore the blank values as true it will ignore this bit and it will only get the male staff names and it will concatenate them with the comma separation and we will get a shorter list of all our male employees for our last example here i would like to count the word count of this text you are awesome so to do this we can use the len function to just count how many letters are there and that will tell me there are 15 letters but what we want is three which is the word count in this so how do we do that well if i can count how many spaces are there there are two spaces so if i add one to it then i'll get the word count but how do we count the spaces our find function can only find one space at a time so here is a special bonus function for you we can use the substitute function specify a input text and then tell that you want to substitute all the spaces with nothing what this will do is it will kind of shrink the whole thing by removing the spaces so you are awesome becomes you're awesome and now all we got to do is count how long this thing is so if i say len of this i'll get 13 I have my original length as 15 and this new length is 13 so that is how many spaces are there 15 minus 13 this is how you would do is len of original text minus len of this plus one i'll get three let's test this like this video if you enjoyed it there is seven words in that now go and act on it